2011 for, uh, for me was an awesome year. You know, I came to Riviera Racing with Mark Post to race that year. Um, we raced both series. Uh, we won a lot of races. We won the championship in both series. It was an incredible year. The San Felipe race got moved up to Ensenada and we ran a loop race there. And uh, that's the race that, um, you know, Mark Post ended up getting chased by the police. Uh, that was a little bit of a famous story on the highway. I drove the first half of the race, gave the hand of the truck over to Mark, and then he was coming up the Pacific side near San Vicente, and uh, they had a highway section there, and uh, the cops ended up chasing Mark down. They wanted to pull him over, and, you know, I happened to be up in the helicopter then because I'd already driven my section and jumped in the helicopter to chase him. You know, I'm thinking, if you pull over, you're, we are going to lose this race. It's only a 220-mile race. You can't afford to sit and talk to police for a couple minutes. So, um, you know, I'm wondering what's going to happen. And Mark, as they tried to pull him over and they tried to cut him off, he's, he didn't have it. I'm not pulling over. I didn't do anything wrong. I still want to win this race. So he jumped off the highway. It just so happened the race course got back off the highway. He got off the highway, raced up the Pacific Ocean through Arendia and to Santa Tomas. And about uh, 300 yards before the finish line, here the Federales were with AK. AK's pointing at him, so he skidded to a stop, they put their hands up, they got Mark Post out of the truck, and uh, basically put him in a police car and hauled him off, so uh, I, we landed the helicopter over the finish line, I ran over to South Fish and Oscar Ramos, talked to them, told them what was going on, we then got Oscar to um, you know, get in a one of our chase vehicles and go find where they had Mark, and they had him down the highway in the back seat of a police car all handcuffed. It was really a funny story because, you know, come to find out, it's like they really didn't have a specific reason why they were trying to pull him over. So that was a unique situation that happened. But um, that whole year was awesome, you know, finally ending up at the Ball 1000. Um, I drove two different sections. I started the race, drove down near Catamina. We had Carl Lennon there jump in and drive about a, you know, 150 miles from there to San Ignacio. I then got back in the truck and drove about 300 more miles handed the truck off to Mark Post and he took it about the last 200 miles and that was my first overall Ba 1000 win and with a feeling like nothing other so that was awesome and, and capped off an awesome season for Riviera Racing in 2007.